Not your time. Hey, babe, babe, time, babe. Canon just released a $2,700 lens. It's like, it's an 85 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, well, how would you feel if I bought it? <laughs> I have been really excited for the new Canon lenses and the, the, the ones that are coming out, but $2,700? Hey, babe, <laughs> come, come sit down with me. Come sit down with me. We need to talk here. I'm, I'm very upset because I want to buy a Canon camera. I want to buy one on, on, on the side of Sony, like a side chick. And what do you know about side chicks? Nothing, but I was gonna find out with Canon. No, but for real though, like I wanted to buy a Canon camera. I was excited about their new lenses because they're F 1.2. That means blurry of backgrounds, you know, wider aperture. I mean, the 50 millimeter F 1.2 is $2,000. That's already more than your average 50. Babe, does this babe, 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 lens, no, 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 does listen. Does it like edit the photos for you? No. No? no. Does, it, does it clean the house? No. Cool. The Sony version of this lens mm -hmm. is $1,800. You know, you get you get f1.2 instead of f1.4, right? So which means like blurry your backgrounds, but it's about a thousand dollars more. What? I mean, I don't even know why we're having this conversation. If I'm being honest. Okay, so if I bought it, how would you feel? I feel like we need some space. <laughs> we need I feel some... like maybe you should sleep on this couch in your office. Um, my eyes twitching actually just thinking about it. You, yeah. you don't recommend husbands around the world buying it. Um, I I don't recommend I don't recommend spouses because you know what? there's women photographers you know out there you know gender neutral here. Lily doesn't recommend you buy it either, right? She's pretty much just begging you not to, right? Right? She wants you to remain in the house, <laughs> so she's begging you literally. Can you see her? I beg you, don't buy it, Daddy. Please stay in the house with us, please, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, I've been really excited about the new RF lenses that Canon has coming out, like the new 70 to 200 that's short and fat, a lot shorter than you know the other 70 to 200 that everyone else has. Also, they have an 85 1.2 with a defocus, whatever that's called, and I'm I'm really curious as to what they're gonna price the one with the defocus feature because $2,700 for an 85 millimeter. Even if it's a 1.2, I think is pushing it. I think this is almost like a luxury item, you know? Like, I get it. You make a 28 to 70 F2, that's like an exotic, you know, an exotic focal length with F2 aperture, which is insane. And personally, I don't think many people are gonna buy it. I just think it's like one of those luxury items. And it's a shame that I feel like the 85 1.2 is become is is going to become a luxury item. I mean, it's almost like bragging rights to have this lens with this kind of aperture at that price. It's just crazy to me. Like, what, like, what's the strategy here? Because I was I'm holding on to my, I have the Nikon Z6 here. I'm I'm still debating which one I want to buy on the side of Sony. And this 85 1.2 at this price point is really demotivating me to go to Canon. With that said, it also makes me think about the 70 to 200 that they're releasing. Normally the 70 to 200s are more expensive than these primes. Do you think that's gonna be in the $3,000 range? That would be insane, or at least more than $3,000, because I think Nikon already has one. One thing about the previous version, the L version, there is so much chromatic aberration at 1.2 and the lens is pretty soft, wide open. So if this lens could be sharp, wide open, and can have near, like no chromatic aberration, I think um, we'll have a winner. But $2,700, I don't think many people are gonna actually buy it. I just reached out to my B&H rep and he's gonna have this lens out to me as soon as they come out so I can create some content on it because I need to see what is up with this lens. Why is it $2,700? I can't wait to test it and see what the fuss is all about.